not a people person all the time, so, but I just like, I was like, you're cool. And then we just got on and then the characters made sense and yeah, felt special. Hi, I'm David Johnson. Hey, I'm Vivian Opara. And we're here to play Ask Me Anything with L.U.K. Thanks for finishing my sentence. I got you. We did a lot of coffee walks, uh, which which was really special. I think there's one place called, um, oh, I can't remember, and I really loved it. I think it was like a Moe's. Oh, yeah. One? It was like opposite Giardini's. Jardin opposite Giardini's, yeah. where we shot the actual lunch, lunch time, lunch time scene. scene, which was great. We but, spent a lot yeah. of time traipsing around there. It was quite like meta with how the film goes. We went on a Goldilocks-esque adventure trying to find me the best chai Hi, latte. latte. And Peckham has some great ones. Yeah, I don't think you found it. Though. I didn't find my porridge, no. but you know, onwards. Yeah. There was a lot of good stuff on offer. <laughs> I found a lot of good cinema. Brixton delicious. Market was great. Brixton Market yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. The highlight from being at Sundance Festival was being at Sundance Festival. Festival. I think oh. it's like we shot our little film in like six weeks in Peckham, and then for it to be premiered in this like snowy, wintry wonderland <laughs> felt like a dream. It was, it was so surreal, and I think. Me and David do a really good job of like, you know, trying to keep a lid on the feelings, but then we'll be texting each other crazy, being like, yeah! <laughs> I think for the first time when we were at this, at the screening in yeah. an auditorium with like 500 people cheering and going crazy about the film, we both kind of lost it. I Absolutely. think we both broke and we were like, what on earth is happening, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, definitely a crazy moment. One thing that we love about this film is that it's kind of, uh, it's not taking away from any narratives that we've seen before, but it's shining a new light, hopefully, mm -hmm. on 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 a place that we know and love, but also like our experiences. And I think that it's important that we continue to see us represented uh, in ways that feel authentic and true. So mm -hmm. in this case, it's like a black love story, and we're both like, I don't think we've ever considered ourselves as like romantic leads in a way, you know, um, mm -hmm. we're not romantic leads. Mm -hmm. So like in a way to see ourselves reflected back at us feels special to, to, to me and sure. hopefully to other people. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was like quite a quiet and like bookish kid. Um, I didn't really quite know where my place was. Um, so I just used to read a lot. And then for some reason I did the school play in year six and I played the Wicked Witch in Snow White. And I got standing ovation and I was like, God damn, this yeah. feels good. Um, and I was like, I think I was like interested in stories and, and characters, but I didn't quite know why, or why I would even put myself out there like that at that stage. But that was my first memory. I think I've always wanted to act because yeah, I love stories. I love storytelling, whatever medium that takes, whether it's, you know, acting or music, fashion, writing, anything. It's a really powerful medium and um, that's what drew me to it. And I love films, love films. We love films, it's what we bonded over. Absolutely. I think film and TV kind of came quite late, late, late to me. And yeah, like reading loads, reading plays, reading poems. I think that's like my best. I feel like TV and theatre must be like what it's like having two kids and you love them the same but very differently. Do you know what I mean? No. Really? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, as in, like, they're two different people. You can't compare Fine. the love. I agree. You know, because they're Sorry, two different, two different things. Yeah, they are. They are. You're right. They are. But no, I'm with you're like, no. No, 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 no. I just didn't understand. I was like, kids. You're absolutely right. They, and TV and theatre are two different beasts. They're, t they're two different beasts. You know, with theatre, you're you're kind of like you're doing two shows on a Wednesday, two shows on a Saturday, and you're rehearsing in the time that you're meant to be like sleeping. It's, you know, it's kind of relentless. And, you know, I think with, with TV and film to a degree, you know, the call times are like super early and sometimes like you finish early and sometimes you really don't. I guess auditioning for this was really cool because we got to, we had chemistry reads and we were paired with two different people in, initially and they were great. But then the second I met Vivian, I was like, oh, she's special. Like, you know, she makes everything easy. She's very generous and giving, and she's sitting right there, so it makes it a bit awkward, but <laughs> she's great. Um, <laughs> yeah, this this was a memorable audition, for sure, for the, for the, for the right reasons. There have been a lot of memorable auditions for the wrong reasons. They have been forgotten and put in the memory <laughs> bin. Yeah, they sit away. Um, but yeah, this was memorable because for Rylane, just meeting someone who'd created such a vast world, I really like to go in and create a world for characters and someone else to create such a vast world. And then I'm like, hmm, who's this person? Like, 
you know, I'm not a people person all the time, so, but I just like, I was like, you're cool. And then we just got on and then the characters made sense and yeah, it felt special. No, 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 not, 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 not a smidge. I think, <laughs> you know, I don't know how Gus would do in Peckham. I think that would be really interesting. He'd be horrified. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I Sean. Understand. I can't even, yeah. I can't even quite imagine it yet. But you know, maybe, maybe we go there. No, I, no, I think, I think that what's really cool is to be able to jump from one narrative to another and still shine light on like a black experience. That feels important to me um, as a young actor to do. So uh, it, uh, it's definitely a gift to be able to go from. City life to Peckham life, that's been cool. I am coming back to TV this year with Then You Run, um, an eight part thriller. It's like if an Irish gangster movie met a coming of age film, met a psychological thriller, and they all crashed into each other. Ben Shannon, who wrote The Capture, is writing it. Such an amazing cast. Um, it's a lot of fun, it's a wild ride. Drugs. Killing pretty girls. Friendship and loyalty at the heart of it, so. And the character that's very different to Yaz. Look forward to people seeing it, for sure. I think what Abraham Kamara is doing right now with um, Off-White is incredible. Mm. Love to wear Off-White. Moa Lola is awesome. I think, yeah, Montclair, Acne. Diesel's revival, what Glenn Martins has done is incredible. I would have loved to just had the opportunity to just meet Virgil Abloh because what he did with Louis Vuitton oh, and how much he cared about the culture and the infrastructure of the culture was incredible. I'm quite excited about Pharrell and what he's going to bring mm. to Louis Vuitton. I think that's just going to be really special. I love our British designers. I love Oswald Botang. And yeah. I love um, I love like James Pierce. I love Sunspell. I love like good Vivian classic. Vivian Westwood, the lady, Vivian Westwood West, I mean, now, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we have some good designers here, so any of that, give us loads of stuff. Give us the things. Please. We look nice in the nice stuff. <laughs> yeah, Gucci. <laughs> Gucci. <laughs> Loewe. <laughs> I'm honestly just naming them, like, yeah, what can I remember? So <laughs> Thanks for all your questions. And we'll see you soon.